Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How is everybody doing tonight? Did you have a wonderful Easter? I don't know how wonderful it could be, but we have to do what we have to do, right? So <clears throat> my Easter wasn't anything like any previous Easters in my entire life. But, <laughs> you know, I made the most of it. So I know a lot of people were really missing getting together with their family or friends or neighbors, um, traveling. I would always go to my mom's house. I think there was one year that we went to Steve's parents' house for Easter just because my parents weren't home. But um, yeah, it was definitely weird. I'm very grateful that my sister and her kids are staying with my mom right now to keep her from getting lonely. They're keeping her very, very busy, she said. She's been cooking a lot, but that's okay. And like I've said before, the kids are going to, um, they're going for four-wheeler rides every day and they walk down to the creek and They've got minnow traps set up, so they're catching lots of minnows, and there's a couple outdoor cats there, so they're training them. <laughs> they're having so much fun. But yeah, Easter was very weird, and I, like I said, I just really wasn't thinking, but I should have had an Easter dinner. Jared had to work, so that was kind of crummy. And um, Haley came over for breakfast, so that was nice. I made homemade waffles. I got a new waffle maker for Christmas, and I finally got it out and used it. I made homemade waffles and bacon for breakfast, and then Haley went in the living room and laid down to take a nap, so I went in the living room and laid down to take a nap, too. <clears throat> I have no idea what time we got done with breakfast, but I can tell you that I slept pretty much until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> And I can't even remember the last time I did something like that. So it was just a really relaxing day. And I did like, well, for the most part, I took I took most of the day off. And then, um, I don't know, about 6 o'clock, I came in my office and started answering some emails because those pile up so quickly for me. It just gives me peace of mind to get them cleared out and answered and responded to. And so... I did that last night and then I got a burst of energy and I started um, on my next online class, which is the one that's on my blog right now, the Ornate Garden online class. I finished up today, I've got all the videos made. There's, let's see, eight, there's 12 cards and a box. I have everything made, all the videos are made. I've got my, um, ordering information all filled out so I know how much cardstock to order and all my cutting directions. There's like a whole thing that goes into an online class that you have to be, get yourself. You have to get yourself really organized. I was gonna say you have to be really organized. I'm not really an organized person, but I can get myself organized. So I um, did all that and then today Haley came over. Oh, and she told me that I failed as a mom because I didn't have an Easter basket for her. And I'm like, well, I'm a visual shopper and I couldn't do any shopping. So we'll have to fix that later. <laughs> Mom fail for sure. <laughs> oh well, um, we'll, I'll make up for it. But um, Haley came over today and she was making her scrapbooking page all day. I can't wait to show it to you guys. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. So incredible. I told her today, I said, you know, you should make an online class for me that is scrapbooking and, you know, we'll see how that goes. But she has just done such a phenomenal job with that. It's crazy. So how are you guys doing? What did you do for Easter? Like, I want to hear, what'd you do? Did you just stay home? Did you make a meal? Um, my mom actually, they said they've been having a lot of ham, which is what we usually would have at, at her house for Easter dinner. And so instead she made turkey and I think she made um, scalloped corn hot dish with, it's got um, um, cornbread in it. We love it. And oh, who just made, somebody made ham and potatoes. And um, I made cupcakes. They were super duper cute. Did I share a picture of them? 
I don't know if I did. I was going to. Maybe I did. Anyways, I'll have to look back. I'll share them with you because they're really cute. I, I made Easter cupcakes. That's as far as I went with it. And breakfast. And then what did Steve cook? Oh, our Easter meal was brats. <laughs> I know. It's like the weirdest year ever. So big shout out to all the states that are really dealing um, with a major, major problem with this virus. I know my friend Lori lives in Michigan and she is scared to death because she has a lot of underlying health issues that if she got this virus, it would kill her. And so she has been like locked down, keeping the cooties out, but she is near, near Detroit. And Detroit is just, if you look at their map of you know, they have the different colors of the map. It's like, holy cow. And, you know, I was trying to think, what is it about Michigan that's making that such a hot spot for this virus? And the only thing I could really come up with is their airport and the fact that um, planes fly in there from other countries. I don't know. But um, you get a lot of international travel there. But then I thought, well, Chicago's not blowing up. And that's an international airport. And so is Atlanta. And, you know, I don't know. But anyways, lots of prayers going out to everybody that you can stay safe and um, stay away from that virus. Steve and I were talking about it, too. Like, we went on a cruise at the end of January. There's a whole family that got sick on the cruise. Out of 34, 19 of them were, were in their rooms for almost the entire week with upper respiratory illness. We're wondering if that wasn't the virus. Who knows? <laughs> grandmother, who said that? Jean said, yes, grandmother, fail. I had small pails and put treats in for the grandkids. Yeah, well, you overachiever. <laughs> Jay had ham salad and broccoli. That sounds delicious. I know a lot of people did a lot of different things. Like, um, I know some people that had a food exchange. I don't know that that's such a good idea, but whatever. Um, and they shared food. Like, they made a couple dishes and someone else made a couple dishes. And they came over and got the dishes. And, you know, I don't know. Anyways. Um, oh, my gosh. Cynthia had smoked Smoked a pork loin and fixed cauliflower. That sounds delicious. The brat, the brats were really good. Steve did a fantastic job with them. I had brats and potato chips and dip, and then I ate a bunny cupcake. <laughs> it was very good. Oh my goodness. Nancy Clark, I'm happy to see you on here because I think I gave credit to somebody else. You sent me all the paper pumpkin kits, and I think I gave credit to somebody else the other day because I couldn't remember. So I want to apologize for that. Yeah, I apologize. I'm sorry I did that. And it always makes me cringe when I can't remember things. So <laughs> that was one of those things. President stopped internationally flying a while back. Who just said that? I just totally missed it. It went too fast. There we go. Probably, oh, probably the problem was gathering of people mm, yeah not starting the quarantine soon enough you're probably right linda i don't know you know you think about it every once in a while and then i try not to think about it um mary said we have 792 deaths in illinois i know we have i think a little more than that in wisconsin too it's 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 sad but we're doing the best that we can, right? That's all we can do. We can do the best we can and we can um, continue to isolate ourselves so we can get this virus under control. I know like the powers that be disease control people, I don't know what they're called, but they're doing, you know, they're doing as much as they can with research and trying to figure out how to get this contained and, and there's new data coming out every day. That's what's kind of creepy. I mean, good, but still creepy because now it's like it can be carried on your shoes and it's nine feet, not six feet. And oh my Lord, I can't with all it. Just stay away from everybody. <laughs> okay. Elizabeth says she watched some of the kids do an indoor Easter egg hunt at 7 a.m., went to church in your cars. Good for you. Windows up, made a meal. Um, ham and scalloped potatoes. Oh, I love ham and scalloped potatoes. Sent the meal over to my mom's youngest daughter and husband came for a couple hours. We played Pinnacle. Well, you know what? I'm glad to see that you're playing games because 
all of our games we realized that we could be playing right now because there's no big family gathering, right? So we need the games that only a couple people can play. They're in our camper up north. <laughs> I put the Yahtzee in there. I put the um, Phase 10 in there. Um, I don't know what else is in there. Some other dice games. And it's like, ugh. So guess who's my best friend? Amazon. And I just ordered those games so that we have them. They should be here in a day or so. They didn't do next, second day air or next day air with the games. But anyways, I have some coming so we can play a mean game of phase 10 or something like that. I come from a big card playing family. Like my favorite was to sit around and play um, Sheep's Head which is a fabulous, very interesting game where you really have to know your business. <laughs> My dad was a master at Sheep's Head and he taught me how to play and oh, I love Sheep's Head, but it's something you don't get to play very often because you need a certain amount of players and you know players, you need players that know what they're doing. And Trisha said they did church in their cars too and they did a Facebook Live for their church service. That's awesome, I know our church is live streaming too. Jay loves Phase 10. I do too. Yep. Mexican Train. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll look that up. Just a few minutes ago, I turned on um, Yellowstone. Wild Yellowstone is on National Geographic right now. It's on my TV right over there. There's a big grizzly bear that just ate an elk. But um, I started watching that this afternoon. Oh, and speaking... Anyways, back to that. Um, Yellowstone National Park. If you've never been there... It's some place you really need to visit. I still say I've kind of been all over the world. Not too like extensively traveled the world, but I've been kind of all over the world. And I still say that Yellowstone National Park is the most beautiful place in the world. Like it is just breathtaking. So anyways, speaking of TV, <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to admit this, but how many of you have watched Tiger King, which is such a big buzz right now on Netflix? So I started watching it last night. Oh my Lord. It has got to be the stupidest thing, but it's like a train wreck. You just can't look away. It's so dumb. But yeah, I've been watching. I started watching that. <clears throat> All my kids said, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. So I started watching it, it was really funny. Um, it's like a seven series program. I think I'm on the second episode maybe. But <laughs> um, There's some foul language in it. So if you're not, if, if that's not something you like to hear, then you, you don't, definitely don't wanna watch it. But oh my gosh, it had me laughing out loud. And because I slept till three o'clock yesterday afternoon, I was up till 3.30 in the morning. So, <laughs> and then I had to get up at 7.45 for my Monday morning conference call. Yeah, and I'm still going. I'm not burned out at all. We'll see how well I do tonight. Things could get pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. So, I want to award um, our drawing from Saturday night. And I have another set of the March paper pumpkin to give away another paper pumpkin stamp set. This, these were the two sets that were included in the March paper pumpkin. Thanks to Nancy Clark. Don't you guys let me forget. Nancy Clark is the one who gave me all of these. Um, she ordered a whole bunch of kits and of course she only needs one stamp set. So she asked me if I would like them and I said, absolutely, this has been this is like such a time sensitive set. It's perfect for right now. Yeah, Charlene says, she says, Tiger King, I was curious, but then couldn't stop watching it. Train wreck, it's totally a train wreck. Those people on there are crazy. Like they're crazy. But yeah, you just can't stop watching it because it's so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, if you want a good chuckle, you'll get it there. Back to our winner, Squirrel. Um, Nancy, thank you so much for these. And Jean Shoot, I know you're watching tonight. Jean Shoot of Beulah, North Dakota. I almost said North Carolina, but Nor North Dakota. You are the winner of this fabulous double stamp set and I will be getting this in the mail to you. I have your address already. So I'm gonna set that back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you guys ready to see Haley's page? 
I don't know. I'm gonna, well, maybe I'll wait till I flip the camera around so that I can get it up there close and you can actually read the words that are on here. <laughs> yeah, Monica, Monica said, toothless and crazy. Yeah, there are some characters on that Tiger King. Denise said it was, you can't stop watching it. You can't. It's so ridiculous. And the funny thing is, is people really do act like that because I know some people like that. Like, I come from backwoodsy, um, redneck area. And I love my rednecks. Don't get me wrong. And most of them are super good, decent, loving people. But some of them are just like Tiger King. <laughs> it's hysterical. Anyways, I got a whole bunch of mail, you guys. So I hope you're up for this. Um, first off, I have to show you so my friend Dina, you guys know that I'm really good friends with Dina Rico, and she sent me these really cute socks that says, my dog and I talk blank about you. <laughs> she always gets us funny socks. And this came in the mail today, and I've got this cute card, holy cow. And it says, you're amazing. Just wanted to remind you of your awesomeness. Sending you lots of love, Dina. And uh, is that not the sweetest thing ever? And then, if that wasn't enough, she sent me one of these cutter-free counters. Okay? And I'm like, oh, I saw this when I was at her house. And I said, whoa, what is that? I love it. This just kind of holds all your tools. You can put your, take your, whoops, that didn't work. Take your pick tool in there. You can stick your scissors in there. Um, what else do I have over here? Your bone folder will fit in there and you just sit it on your desk and it is the holder of tools. And isn't that just the neatest thing? So this is called Cutter Free Counters. Is that what it's? Yeah, counters, Cutter Free Counters. And I thought that was really cool. Dina, she loves me, I love her. And then look at this beautiful frame. I'll read it to you because I know it's all backwards. Would Tiger P King be popular if we weren't on quarantine? I really don't think so. I really don't think it would. That's a really good question. Um, where did I get this? I got this from my friend Dina. That's where I got it. It came in the mail today. This frame says good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they are always there. And I she said she looked for a picture of us, me and her and Barb together. But last time we were together, we didn't get a good picture. And I said, we really need to be mindful of that next time we get together. So as soon as this quarantine is over, I think maybe we might be headed to Wyoming. And um, Wyoming is one of the states that is doing fairly well with the virus, right? So there's my beautiful, I don't want this to fall over and break, my beautiful new frame. I love stuff like that. Okay. Let me set, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna put that box over there. I'll throw it in Haley's spot, <laughs> right? Here's my little holy cow. I gotta get rid of some of these cards and put some new ones up. I still haven't put all my new cards up. And then here goes my socks. I'll put those over there too. All right, what else did I get? I told you guys I got a lot of mail today. Haley and Jared have a baby card here, and I pulled it out of the package, and I'm not quite sure who it came from, but she will be opening it tomorrow. So we'll get to see this tomorrow. I'm going to put that over in her spot, too. Then I got this beautiful card. I love this paper, and this comes from, hang on, Sue Loring, and it is a beautiful little Easter card. Isn't that sweet? Love your color choices, Sue. And she says, just wanted you to know what a fabulous job you do on your YouTube videos, all the ideas, techniques, and all the things. I love how you keep us up to date with your family. Keep the stamping and stories coming. You bring a smile to my face. I'm so happy for you. It's nice when a person can love their job as you do. We don't get to see all the crazy, this is the part that I started giggling at, that goes on behind the scenes, like finding the right DSP that matches the where did I put that particular color cardstock and so on, or did I ever even order that? Or did I just wait, want to order it? <laughs> That's me, That's, it's like you just described me completely. This is super cool, Sue. So she said, 
Um, she really looks forward to watching my videos on YouTube and gives me a thumbs up every time. So thank you so much, Sue. This was just, I was, I was giggling because she's got me nailed right down, doesn't she? Yeah, exactly. Then I got a beautiful card from Ruth Jarda and uh, a pretty little envelope. Look at this. So Ruth was one of the 20 orderers from my kit class last month. And I said at the top 20, not the top, the first 20 to order, we're going to get the um, Memories and More card kit. I had 20 that were retired, some retired ones from the last catalog. I think it was called a big deal maybe. And she says, hi, Kelly, I made this card for you with the Memories and More card pack you sent to me. I love your videos. They give me something to look forward to each day. Stay healthy. I look forward to the arrival of Weed Lee. So do I. <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. I really do, too. So um, I, I don't think it's going to be much longer. I told you guys that Haley has a date to get induced if she doesn't have the baby by the 27th. But I'm pretty sure that she will have the baby before then because she's starting to get a little more uncomfortable. I really think it's gonna happen pretty soon. Yeah, so don't worry, I will let you know. <laughs> I'll be screaming it from the rooftops. All right, then I have a really, really neat card here from Cindy Benward of Coos Bay, Oregon. So when I first looked at this, I'm like, oh, this is pretty. And I opened it, Cindy, I opened it up and I'm like, ooh. And then I'm like, what's going on here? What's happening? Oh, look it. It it opens here and then it opens here. And I think we might need to learn how to make this. So I'm thinking Facebook Live. You know I love a good fun fold. So Cindy says, Thanks for being the ray of sunshine during this CQ 2020. You are keeping me sane and my husband appreciates it. And <laughs> she's got a little smiley face with the tongue sticking out. Take care, stay safe, and continued good health. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And same to all of you. Stay healthy. Who just said something there? Dana Patterson. Dina had crazy troll on her live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, trolls are not fun, right? Hi, Haley. I see Haley just popped in here. And then this card is hysterical. Can you read what it says? It says six feet, please. <laughs> this is the paper pumpkin kit, you guys. This is the one that Jean just won. Time this virus got the boot. I thought this was super, super cute. This is from one of my team members, Mary Thiel, and she says, I thought you might enjoy this card. I got it from the Demonstrator Planning Place. Enjoy your Easter. And super, super cute, right? Yeah, pretty ingenious. Demonstrator Planning Place is a Facebook group for stamping up demonstrators, whether they're business builders or discount shoppers. And I can tell you there are amazing, amazing projects on there. Here's Dina. Dina sent me this envelope. It says, Kelly Atchison. I'm kind of a big deal online. There's a, there's a story that goes with that from visiting Barb's mom in Billings, Montana. And her mom, first time I ever met her mom, she says to me, she goes, you know, I think I, I think I know you from someplace. Have, do I know you from someplace? And I, we had just been having this conversation about YouTube and, and Dina was such a big deal online and, and all the things. And when her mom said that to me, I go, well, I am kind of a big deal on YouTube. <laughs> and I was totally kidding, but that has never left. Like, they keep saying that over and over. It's hysterical. Oh, no. Debbie says she lost power at 7, and they still don't have it back on. Well, I'm so sorry, Debbie. Yes, please do catch the replay because it might be quite hysterical. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. Okay, I've got to show you this. This, you guys, is crazy, crazy card. This comes from Maryland from Prince George, British Columbia. Is that right? British Columbia? Let me make sure. Yep, British Columbia, Canada. And she says, hello, Kelly. I just want to say a great big thank you for all you do for us fellow wonderful person. Your videos are great to watch. We've learned new techniques. You remind us of old techniques we have forgotten as well as being entertaining. 
Do not let anyone tell you you chatter too much. I think all your viewers would agree and look forward to your chatter. I think it is very nice that you share your thoughts, your family, and your friends with us. Thank you very much, Marilyn. This is from Marilyn Purin. I think that's how you say it, or Perrin. And um, she, she has quite a bit here. Congratulations on approaching your million dollar sales. You're a great leader. I wish you were, I was on your Stampin' Up! team. I wish I could be a small part of helping you reach the million dollar mark. Just know I'm cheering you on and watching you rip off each link in your chain. That's so sweet. Congratulations on your, um, once again, congratulations on your million dollar sales coming up in the birth of your first grandbaby. You are going to love her like you never thought you could have loved that much to give. How sweet. Are you ready to see her card? Get ready. Are you ready? Holy Batman. Let me get that little guy out of there. Look at look at this. This is a box card, but it's very different from the one I made. Is that crazy? And it says, thank you, friend. That's what the sign says on it. But look at all of the things. Like, oh my lord. This is just amazing. And she's got her note written on the back here. Another note. Isn't it's just incredible. I am in awe of you, Marilyn. Like you knocked this one out of the park. It's crazy cool. And then it just goes flat. And yes, she did send it in a bigger envelope so that it wouldn't get squished. But I think it's totally worth it, don't you? Wow, Marilyn, wow, wow. I know you guys. This is crazy. I just couldn't believe it. I was I was in shock. Like, wow. So there we go. Crazy. All right, let's keep going here. Okay, here comes some fun. Oh, I have to tell you about the envelope. Oh, hang on, there's more. Here comes more. Urgh. Oh, nope, that came with that. Okay, so I get this envelope in the mail. These are the kind of mails I, these are the kind of mails I send out. <laughs> I don't send any mails out. I'm keeping my mail for myself. M-A-L-E. No. <laughs> These are the envelopes that I send out. And I got this in the mail today. And it's got don't, what does it say? Don't crush, okay, don't crush on the front or smash or jam into mailbox. Thanks. This is from my friend Terry in Minnesota. Her mail lady will take my big priority envelopes and smash them and jam them in her mailbox. And it makes her so mad. So she's got me covered. But I thought that was hysterical. So that's the first thing that made me laugh. And then this is for Kelly and Haley. And I'll show you in a minute what I have here. Look at my pretty, pretty card, right? And it says, this is such a special time. You are blessed to be able to spend time together before Weedley arrives. I pray for safety and that this crazy time has brought us closer and appreciate each other in a new way. We all love hearing how things are going and thank you for spending time during CQ 2020 every day. Love the scrapping pages, great memories. Your life is a gift. Weed will change your life forever. God bless Terry. So beautiful card. Terry sent some Sour Patch Kids. Kelly's Movie Time SPK Sour Patch Kids and has to share with Haley even if she doesn't want to because Weedley is hungry. <laughs> and she decorated it with, with designer paper. I love this. And then these are for Haley because Haley stole my sour patches. Haley's prenatal SPK, take as needed, may share with Kelly if she wants to, but not obligated. Thanks, Terry. Thanks. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. We will eat these. And I'll make sure Haley gets her box because I'm nice like that. <laughs> All right, we have one more. I told you guys I got a lot of mail today, right? Ooh, I'm getting hot. Hang on, I gotta take my blanket off. Whew, I'm throw it right over there. I had my heater on right before I went live and I turned that off because you guys know I always get hot when I start doing it. This comes to me from, oh my gosh, this is some more like crazy, crazy cards. This is from my friend Lynn and I hope I say your name right, Seclary, okay? And Lynn sent me a, just a beautiful letter. She wants me to know how much I she loves watching 
I love watching you. You are a burst of sunshine in my day, especially now during these not so bright days. Um, hang on while I close my cupboard back up. We, okay, so that's a little personal stuff I wanted to send you. I wanted to send you some projects I have been working on, okay? And she sent me the magnetic tray. Love these. This is to hold your dies. This is a big one. Like, holy moly. I got the little one, so I was kind of excited to... Look at how big this is. What? And this is like, it, it takes all your metal. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, well, it, it's pretty strong. I mean, not much is touching this on the magnet part, but it'll stick there. <laughs> That's not very useful. But this is for your dies, not your scissors. So, Lynn, thank you very much. I will absolutely treasure this. And then, are you ready for the card? There's two cards in here. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> this is, okay, so this is the envelope. To my favorite, my first upline, Kelly Atchison. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What an envelope, right? Ready? O-M-G. Now, watch this. It opens up. This part goes back. It fits into the slot. Hang on. Let me get it in the slot. The beehive sits right up there. Can you guys see this? Like, is this not amazing? Like, what in the heck? Holy cow, this is crazy cool. And that's the bee set with the bee paper. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I don't know, you guys. This is, I can't even, I can't even compete with that. <laughs> These are so cool. And then here's another card she sent me. She said these are just projects she's been working on. And this is an easel card. Look at how cool that is. Right? Love the bees. Love the bees. Yeah. And let's see. I'm going to put this down. We're going to put this up here. Then she's been making these um, bookmarks. So you've got the bookmarks with the little paper clip and the flower on the top. Is that not cute? And she made, using our vellum cardstock, she made little sleeves for them to go in. One is for me and one is for my mom. And Lynn, I will definitely give this to my mom and she will love it. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? Remember, whoops, remember Jar of Love? Yeah, Jar of Love is like, was, oh, I loved Jar of Love. It's retired now, but it is beautiful. And again, a little vellum cardstock sleeve that I thought was just so ingenious. Yeah. Okay, and then there's more. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. She took a half of our acetate box and she put this little piece in there and glued it down on the inside. And it's, it's like, it's sturdy. It's very sturdy. I was just saying today to Haley, I'm like, oh, I'm out of Reese's peanut butter cups. What a bummer. Look at what she sent me. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. This is super, super cute. Welcome Easter set. Yeah. Pretty neat. Thank you so much. This is, it was just like, holy cow day here, right? Yeah. I agree. All right, let me put this stuff away. Are you guys ready to stamp yet? I gotta have room to stamp. I gotta, oh my Lord, I've got so much stuff coming in. Okay, I think we're ready to, st oh yeah, I'm gonna show you Haley's scrapbook pages. Wait while I put my little Easter basket to the side. I don't wanna forget about the Reese's. <laughs> Cause those are good. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, and I want to tell you guys too. So oftentimes um, I will go back through and I will watch all your comments roll in. So I, it's not necessarily that I go back and watch my live, but I, I like to see if I missed any questions. And um, um, hang on just a second. Lots of times I will accidentally miss 
some of your comments and I've noticed that um, some people are saying some things that are pretty important that I really feel bad that I missed them that they should be acknowledged like um, you know please pray for my neighbor they're sick or pray for my dad he just came down ill or whatever and I just want you to know that there are so many comments when they all come in like if I've got five comments coming in at once they don't even show on my screen they will just disappear so, and I noticed that somebody just, hang on, I've got things popping up all over, which makes me so mad. Um, somebody just posted that they got a card idea from another website, and if you could please refrain from doing that, because that sends people away from my website, and I don't allow links and stuff like that to be on mine. People can go find these things on their own. And I don't want to sound like a snot because I kind of feel like a snot, but yeah, please don't ever put other um, links or anything like that. Okay, there we go. On my Facebook lives or my Facebook pages because that <clears throat> that isn't good for my business I guess that's the best way to say it all right so and I know people are just being helpful I totally get it I, I understand <sighs> scrapbook page are you ready I can't wait to show you okay I'm gonna flip my phone around I'm gonna keep my crown on <laughs> because I stamp better with it and God knows I need some help tonight Haley says show my pages um, Betty just asked, do demonstrators no longer use stamp sets that are retired? Demonstrators can use anything that they want, but if you're a business builder, like this is my business, it's how I earn my income, it doesn't make sense for me to show you something that's retired because you can't purchase it from me. So as a business move, it's not good for my business to show you retired stuff, right? So you're certainly welcome to use anything you want, but you'll you'll not see me using anything that's retired because I'm earning a living. So thanks, Sarah. Sarah said that is totally a fair request and I appreciate it. Thank you. And again, no, no biggie, but um, it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, Haley is ready for me to show you her page. We're gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna get busy. So hang tight, close your eyes if you get, um, I was gonna say if you get morning sickness. Haley doesn't even have morning sickness anymore. Um, close your eyes if you get motion sickness and I will tell you when to open them. We're gonna flip this baby around and show you her amazing scrapbook pages, you guys. Look at this. This is the, oh, what is that paper called, Haley? I can't remember. Well, uh, mm, I don't know. You guys know, don't you? Somebody tell me what this paper is. Look at how cool it is. Look at these little flowers. All the little details. Here's the gold gilded gems that are part of the ornate. Yeah, and a daisy punch. And all these are little dies. And she just took flowers and stacked them up. The leaf punch. Butterfly. Look at the welcome baby in gold foil. Here's some more really cute little flowers and some green sprigs. She's got gilded gems and pearls. Yeah, isn't this just like completely amazing? So this is Jared and his mom, Lori. She's wonderful. Haley is like, couldn't have picked a better family to marry into. And of course me and Steve and baby Haley with baby Weedley. <laughs> And it says, the world is full of miracles and none so precious as the one on the way to you. And she did that in gold embossing powder. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness, right? Yeah, so Haley, you're going to make another page, right? So you have a two-page layout? I think she is because I see some more pictures from the, the shower over there. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so, so pretty, right? Yeah. Talented. That girl is talented. So.
So my computer, my printer needs ink. It's out of black ink or it's not even out of it. It usually lasts a lot longer, so that's why I don't change it. But I keep getting these pop-ups on my screen saying from HP telling me I need to order ink. And I just about had it with them. Like I just about had it because every time I'm doing something, boom, it pops up. There's like eight of them open on my screen. And I think that's be, that's a bit much. They're really pushing me. They're really pushing me to the end of my rope. <laughs> okay, so like I said in my email <clears throat> or my notice that I was going to be live shortly, I have a man card tonight. We'll just look at this one more time. <laughs> oh, and Wink is Stella on the butterfly too. How about that? Oh, beautiful. Okay, let me set this over here. I got to do it nicely. There we go. It's flat. It's safe. Um, <clears throat> here comes my cardstock. Here's my little cheat sheet. Let me move this out of the way. Put this right up here so I can see my dimensions. But um, I got a really, really cool card in a swap. And I didn't have time to show it to you before the stamp set retired because it was part of our celebration promotion. So I decided that I would recreate it tonight and make it for you using stamp sets that are current. So what I've got here, and I will, I will put the dimensions for the, the big pieces here. These little pieces, you know, you just, you'll see. But I will put dimensions in for the um, scoring and all of that stuff. I'm going to be using the Country Club Designer Series paper, and this is a new suite. It's a golf suite, and I think Jay's on here tonight. She made some beautiful cards with this as part of a demonstrator get-together back in January, but the Country Club suite, and I'm going to be using the plaids. So that's where my paper's coming from. And first thing I'm going to do is make my matching envelope because I've really been doing well using up my designer paper and making my envelopes match. Uh, so I'm just going to get my glue around here and I always cut a two and a half by six inch piece and look at the little golf carts all over. I think this paper is hysterical. Now we're going to use the plaid side because that's what's going to match the card but don't worry um, I will be using this suite of products I think it's actually maybe going to be one of my online classes coming out I haven't checked my schedule in a while we sit down and figure out these online classes sometimes ahead of time sometimes we wait until the last minute and say what are we going to do this month but when we figure them out ahead of time then we write them down and then I can't remember so I would have to go back and look at the place where we store all that information but cool right I just love doing that it's easy it's quick so we have Knight of Navy and this piece is four and a quarter by seven and then I've scored it at five and a half inches so we're just going to fold and burnish that edge okay and then we have another piece of Knight of Navy that's one and a half by four and a quarter and I've got a piece of garden green that is five eighths by two and three eighths. And again, I'll I'll post these for you. A little piece of white. This is we're going to put a sentiment in this. And this white piece is a half inch by two and a quarter, so it's going to line up right on there. I've got a piece of the Country Club Designer Series paper, and this is two and three quarters by four. An inside layer four by five and a quarter, and then another piece of white that's three and a half by four. I think this is good. I think we got everything here. Now, this is where the funny part could come in because I pray that I know how to do this. That's what I'm praying for <laughs> because we don't really know if I know what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, oh, and I have um, a couple different color variations here to show you too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to put a snip right in the middle of this plaid and then I'm going to come in right about there. Now this is all just pretty iffy. There's, there's nothing scientific about what I'm doing here. You could measure and 
um, make it perfect, but I'm just kind of eyeballing things. So I've got this and I'm going to put this right here on the whisper white layer. Now we're actually making a shirt and I will show you the original card that I got in a swap too because it is so cool. And just in case you have the stamps to recreate this, you're definitely going to want to. Okay, there we go. So this is what we have so far. Next thing, Haley told me that I needed to emboss the front. So I've got these two pieces. I'm going to emboss this piece right here. And this is the Argyle embossing folder that goes perfectly with the um, Country Club designer series paper. Gosh, I couldn't remember what I was saying there. Okay, so hang tight. Let me grab my big shot. Now this is a dynamic or a 3D folder, so you need to use the blue plate. Oh, I can do this other one too. Let's do this all at the same time. So I'm going to, I'm putting this, this, this um, pattern doesn't go all the way up to the edge. So you have to be kind of mindful of that when you're, when you're embossing things. It doesn't go all the way up to the edge. So I've got my score line starting in where the pattern starts. I'm trying to keep it straight and I'm going to put this other piece right here that's that one and a half inch piece and keep it all in there and hold it in place. So sometimes that can be the trickiest thing. And here we go. All right, let me get this out of the way. And here we go. Okay, so we've got an Argyle design on here. I hope you can see that and some Argyle on here. Now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And what I'm going to do, you can again eyeball this, but I'm just not that sure of myself. So I'm going to just grab a pencil and I'm just going to put a mark two and a half inches from the top down. So here comes my mark and I'm putting it on both of these pieces. Okay, so I've got a mark there and a mark there and that's just gonna help me line this up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this in my trimmer and let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to put my pencil mark in the channel and I'm going to go in a half an inch, which I know is that line right there. So I'm watching that this tip is lined up at a half an inch and this is in the channel. And make sure you don't have your cutting blade in there. And I'm just going to score that. And now I have a score line right there. And I'm just gonna fold it over like this. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here and I've got my pencil mark right here, so I'm going to line that up on the channel, and then I'm going to go in a half an inch with, I, I know that it's that line right there, and I'm going to score this. So what we're making is lapels, and, and I think it's helpful to measure this so that you can get it even, okay? So right now, this is what we have. And I'm, I've got my fingers crossed, just hoping that I don't totally screw this up, because it certainly is a possibility. Now, I am going to bring this piece in. Oh, I just, oh, shoot. I took all these stamps off of the um, blocks today because I was, I was done with the online class cards that I was making. So I'm gonna grab the thank you. You just need a big greeting. A big greeting is what's gonna work best here. This is the thank you from the Ornate Thanks. This is part of my um, April online class. And I'm going to put this on my block. Just like that. And now I have to decide, do I want, I think I'm gonna use Garden Green as my ink color. I'm gonna ink that up. Now earlier this had kind of an ombre effect because I think my ink pad needs some reinker in it. So we'll see how we do here. 
All I'm hoping for is to get it straight. And that looks pretty darn good. Okay. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take for all you do. Yeah, sure. I, I got, I put all these away. Let's see from all of us, my friends for all you do. I thought this is a pretty general thank you card. This will work perfectly for just about any guys that I'm going to send a card to. Boy, this block is dirty. I need to get that cleaned up ever so much. Oh, I wanted for all you do. Hang on. I'm pretty, I'm pretty set on that. For all you do. For all your help. For everything. Where's for all you do? Does anybody see it? Here it is. I was going to say, hang on, I'm pretty stubborn about this. Does that say for all you do? Yep, that's it. Okay. Here, I'll just throw that back in there. We'll deal with that later. Okay, now I'm ready. Sorry about that. And we're going to go with Knight of Navy on this greeting. And I've got just a little piece. This is a half inch by two and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White. Love that font. It's nice and crisp and clean. Yeah, Barb says she absolutely loves the ornate set stamp set. I do too. I have been having a blast with it. And like I said, I just got done making 12 cards today and a box with that beautiful paper and the stamp set and the dies. It is a must have. And the cool thing about it is that that ornate garden set, it's what we have that's new right now. And I keep forgetting to say it is coming out in the big catalog. When the annual catalog comes out in June, that will be, it's a suite in there. This is an early release. I keep forgetting to tell everybody that it's an early release of this whole suite. But it's something fun and new to play with and Stampin' Up! Demonstrators and customers are enjoying it from all over the world. So when you have releases, special releases like that, the really cool thing is you're going to see a gazillion samples using that suite because we are all so happy to have something fresh and new to use. So that's where you can really get a lot of samples for certain um, products. Okay, so I got this done. Now, let me think about this a little bit. I think that I need to get this in here. Yep, okay, so we're gonna glue this down. So far, so good, I haven't totally screwed this up. I'll tell you, when I made the, um, I made a prototype today of this card and I was like, I, if there was anything I could do wrong, I did it. I did not let myself down in that avenue. It's like, holy cow, can I do anything right with this? Okay, then, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in here, okay? Now, when you put this in here, you wanna make sure that your white is lining up with the white here. And you've only got a small piece of, um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you only wanna put the glue right here, okay? So we're gonna add our glue to the embossed layer right there. Make sure that it's in here straight and it's lined up just right. So we've got this right here lined up just right. Now we're going to do that. Then we're going to take this piece and I like to do a dry fit first because I want it to kind of be the same distance away from the edge here. And you're going to line this up with the card. Okay. And I'm going to... Now you don't want to get glue over in here, so I'm going to put some glue right here on that white layer and then just a little bit here and that's going to hold that in place. Whoops, <laughs> I almost did it. It's going to hold that in place just fine. Here we go with that. All right, so this is our shirt with our plaid shirt underneath and then I figured we needed a tie. So what I did here, is I took and I cut, this is a half inch piece that I embossed in the same embossing folder. And now I'm gonna see how long, oh, I don't want that, I want blue. Hang on, I need blue. 
think I got some Knight of Navy in here someplace. Yep, I do. Okay. For some reason I had green in there, but I actually want a blue tie. So I'm going to bring in my little cutter here. And this is about, mm, right here is going to be a half an inch. Love that little cutter. Who has the little cutter? I love it. Okay, and I'm just going to do this and this. And then I'm going to figure out how long do I want this to be. I want it to be about that long. So I'm just going to cut this off. And then you're going to go from this point right here and you're going to slightly angle this and cut a sliver off of it all the way to the top. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to slightly angle it to the top. That makes the tie, right? Okay. Then I need a little bitty sliver. Let's see if I can do it out of this. I need this to be a little bit thinner than this, so let me see if I can get it lined up in here and get it cut. And I think I did it. I took my bone folder then. I wanted this to be a little more pliable. So I just took my bone folder and I gently did this to make it so that the cardstock isn't so stiff. Now this is when mini glue dots are your best friend. So I am going to put a mini glue dot on the end here. First I was kind of freaked out about like, oh my gosh, how am I going to make a tie? Well, I need to put a mini glue dot on the end of this. And then I was really surprised at how quite, this is pretty easy to make this tie. And yeah, this card is a little putsy, you know, I'm not going to lie, but I think it's really worth it because it's pretty cool. Okay, so we got that. And you're just going to fold this around the back. This is just making the knot at the top of the tie. And of course I had to cut my mini glue dot, so we'll put another one on here. I'm going to put another one on the back of this one. And then I'm going to trim this off. About right there. So you're just basically wrapping this around. And there's our cute little tie. Easy peasy. Let me get all the bits out of the way here. And I'm going to glue this on. Just like this. Now, I think I would have done a better job with my plaid because my plaid is kind of off center here, which is throwing me off just a little bit. But here comes this piece. This is our other sentiment that's going to go on the front here with the garden green. And then I've got my holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And I'm going to grab the green one, one of these green jewels, and I'm going to put it right here on my tie. Okay, guys, what do you think? Is that pretty cool? I think it's a pretty neat little card. Yeah. Oops. Oh, we're scrolling now. Good. Excellent. Yeah, I thought this was pretty neat. So let me show you <clears throat> the original card. Uh, this is the original card. Do you remember the well-worn set from Celebration? It had a tie. It had a collar. It had these cool hats. I thought that was really cool. I often think about how amazing you are. That comes from... Thanks for the laughs, I think. But yeah, today you get it in writing. This is a card that I received in a swap from Laura Bardo, and I just was in love with it. <clears throat> she used that embossing folder, the Argyle embossing folder, on this crumb cake layer underneath. But since we don't have the tie anymore, and if you wanted to make something like this, you can't get that, I thought, well, I better figure out a different way to make this card. And that's when I came up with this tie and used the thank you from the um, ornate thanks stamp set. Then I made, oh, here, here's our envelope, our matching envelope. And then I made a garden green one with navy blue tie and navy blue ink. So that's the only difference really is that I used 
um, navy blue here and garden green mostly for this one. Yeah, so really cool. Now, I'm going to give you all the dimensions. You're going to get the dimension for this, the card base, and then all you have to do is figure out your paper, what you're going to do. I love how Laura used the embossing folder for her shirt. It looks like an Argyle sweater under there. And of course, if you have this stamp set, you can go to town with this. This is a pretty cool card. But I can't use the set anymore. Not for videos, right? But I thought this was pretty cool. And it's a nice thank you card for all you do. This would be a great card for um, some type of a doctor that's, you know, on the front lines of this and going into work every day yet professional that is one of our um, essential workers. Perfect card for the males in your life. Now, um, oh, I was going to show you my, my original one. This is the one that I made first and I struggled and struggled with it. And Haley said, you need to do something with this layer. It's too plain. And then that's when I came up with this one. And what a difference that embossing makes, right? I thought that made a big difference. But yeah, she's always right on the money with her suggestions and compliments. So here is a great man card. And it's a good way to use up scraps, use up your masculine type of um, designer series paper. If you'd like to order any of the items that I've shown you here, this is my current host code. And you go over to my blog and there's an online ordering button in the right hand column. Now this code is going to be changing shortly. I'm going to close this one out and I'll have a new one. But you can always find that code in the right-hand column on my blog. Just look for this little owl icon. And it'll have um, current host code and whatever those numbers are that are there. I always appreciate your orders. And um, make sure you share my video. Give me a thumbs up. That always helps me. Whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, please share my video on YouTube. Give me a... Um, Give me that thumbs up. That's always helpful. I really appreciate it. I'm going to flip you guys back around now. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. Let's see if I can do this without losing you. Oh, there's my TV. <laughs> Didn't turn very fast, did it? Nope. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I just really, really loved this whole card layout. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I've been wanting to make it for you, but I just didn't get to it. And then pretty soon, eh, celebration is over. It always goes really fast, right? Yeah. Oh, and Lydia, Lydia's here. She made a whole Facebook Live. I'm so glad you could join us, Lydia. Got a good idea for a man card now. So, um, I need to go eat supper. I don't know when I will get all this stuff loaded up, but I will type up the dimensions for you right away and put them above the Facebook video. If you're watching later on YouTube, there's going to be a link in the See More under the video. If you click on that, it's going to open up a whole bunch of information. One of the things you can click on is a direct link back to my blog where I will have these cards on there. And you can get all the details. There's a complete shopping list there. It'll tell you all the different colors that I use and what the names of the stamp sets are and what the names of the holiday rhinestones are. When you click on any of those, it takes you right to my online store where you can get all the details and decide if it's something you need to add to your order. So, hi Lori Tibbetts. Thank you, Donna. Donna says, very nice card tonight. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah. Let me know if I missed any questions. Right now is the time to pop them in. <sighs> Wet my whistle a little bit. Thank you, Diane. Diane says, thank you for sharing. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm planning on it. I tried to get Haley to go for a drive with me today. I thought oh, it would be kind of nice to just get out of here and go drive around. Like we're not going any place where we're going to be in contact with anybody, but it's nice just to get out of the house, right? And um, yeah, she was too busy finishing her page. We didn't go any place. <laughs> so uh, let's see who just asked that question. I got... Somebody just asked if I have any of my classes left. The ornate garden class, yes. I have not um, closed that down yet for ordering. 
You're going to find it on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And if you look in the right hand column, you're going to find online classes. Click that and it'll show you all my online classes that are available. There's some in there that are sold out, but there's quite a few that are still available. The ornate garden class comes with three options. You can get the entire suite from me where you get the class for free, a pre-cut cardstock pack. Um, let me see if I can grab that. Oh, I had it here and now I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Um, I'll find it and show it to you guys tomorrow. Gosh, what did I do with that? I had all my cards right here. But anyways, you get a pre-cut card stack pack. You get, um... All the, oh, here it is. All the products in the suite. This is the pre-cut cardstock pack. You also get um, two boxes, 12 cards. So you've got everything in here. Designer paper does not come in my pre-cut cardstock packs, okay? But And you do need to have the suite to make these. So if you've already ordered the suite, you can get option number two, which is the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack, or option number three, which is not the cardstock, but just the online class. If you don't have any of the products yet, you want to order the entire suite from me. It's $132.75. You'll get the online class for free, and you'll get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus. So it's, it's always the best option is to order the suite from me and get the other free stuff. But whatever works for you. If you're a demonstrator and you've already got the suite or you ordered the suite from somebody else, you can still get the online class from me. Now, I think... Um, I will have the PDF file. I've, I just got all the videos made. I still have to edit them and upload them to YouTube and type up the directions. I took the photos, but I have to edit those and get them loaded into the directions. I, I will have that all ready by Friday, the 17th. So this is a pre-order for the online class. Just so you know, it will be available on Friday. And I'm just looking to see if I have any other questions here to answer. Oh, we have Helen in from Australia. And I see Haley's giving somebody my address. Thank you, Haley. I appreciate that. I know it kind of freaks people out, but I don't care. I am so all over the internet. Did a private live for my technique class. Oh, good for you, Cindy. That's awesome. And oh, Sue says you can't go for a drive in Michigan unless it's the, I know. Unless it's the grocery store gas station. I know they're really pinching on that, aren't they? And and I, I guess I get that. But I just want to go for a, lot, a drive by the lake. I don't want to get out. I don't want to like get any cooties, spread any cooties. I just want to get out of my house. And I know you guys can't do that. And I'm sorry. Like I don't, I don't get why it's so crazy in Michigan. I just don't. Okay, Deborah said, oh, hang on, my battery is low, which means my, my plug was not plugged in. Better not go dead. Here, I've had it plugged in all day and it's not even charging. Okay, I don't see any other questions here. What's the baby's name going to be? Marsha, the baby's middle name is going to be Lee. And we don't know the first name yet, not until she's born. That is being kept under a lock and key. And Haley and Jared have um, a laser cut name. Her name is laser cut in wood. And it's hanging on the wall in the nursery. And they have covered it up with paper. At this late stage, I don't want to know it. Because that's going to be our big surprise. We already know it's a girl. We know her middle name is going to be Lee. Because it goes... After so many of the grandparents have Lee names. So, yeah. Looking for the video where you made the cards with DSP as the base. Jen, if you go to YouTube and um, search for my name, Kelly Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N. And then once you pull up my channel, click on videos, and that's going to give you all my videos, and you should be able to see the card you're looking for in the cover photo on the videos. So that's a helpful tip for all of you if you're searching for something. I know that happens a lot. 
Yeah, Lisa says, she's not announcing the name till the baby's born. Lisa knows the rules. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, did you give us the middle name Lee? Lee is the baby's middle name, for real. Like, I'm not just making fun of it. We call her Weed because she's, she's due on 420. And um, that's Weed Day. Like, it has something to do with marijuana. I don't understand it all. I'm not a big marijuana person. But all I know is it's Weed Day, so we call her Weed Lee. <laughs> and it's a joke. And I'm thinking it might stick with her. And Haley's like, no, it won't. We'll see. <laughs> so Becky gets to go to work every day. Well, Becky, I hope you're staying safe and whatever it is that you're doing. I think you're a nurse, aren't you? Yeah, you're a nurse. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. All of you that are essential workers, thank you so much for continuing to go to work, for trying to keep our world going, for taking care of sick people when it could actually be very dangerous for you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We really appreciate you. And um, yeah, I, thoughts and prayers are with you for sure. The spelling of Lee is L-E-E. -E. Yep, my dad's middle name was Lee, and my mom's middle name is Lee, and Jared's grandpa's name is Lee. So we've got a lot of Lees in the family, and so that's where they came up with the name Lee. So that was pretty cool. Okay, I am going to sign off. I don't want to keep you guys here. I need to go eat, and if the truth be known, I probably have to pee too. I have to tell you guys, this may be way too much information. Haley sits here all day across from me and scrapbooks, and I go to the bathroom four times, and she doesn't. Who's pregnant? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm way too old. <laughs> but I think that's just hysterical. You'd think she'd be going to the bathroom every 20 minutes, but no, her mama is. Yeah. Anyways. I'm going to let you guys go so I can go eat. I'll get those I'll get those dementias up first before I leave my desk because sometimes I I go and then Steve comes in and he's, he wants to talk to me and oh my lord, then I lose track of everything. So, <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you back here tomorrow. Keep your chin up. Do the conference call thing with Instant Messenger on Facebook if you're feeling lonely. You can click on anybody's name in there and click that video camera and you can talk to them just like I'm talking to you, only they get to talk back. It's super cool. Don't be lonely. Call a friend. All right. Have a great evening and I will be back tomorrow night. Bye-bye.